Okay, now that we have seen this relationship, that the electric field and the electric potential have this differential relationship. If you, if you don't know what the symbol means, go back and watch uh, previous videos. Uh, this is a, uh, the, the Dell operator, but it involves partial differentials, or partial, sorry, partial derivatives of the scalar potential. So let's look at this in the context of a conductor. What is the electric field inside a conductor? Well, hopefully by this point we know that it is always zero. Inside any conductor, the electrostatic field has got to be zero. Well, what does that mean in context of this for the potential? What I'm saying is, whatever the potential function is in a conductor, the derivative of that, partial or full, has got to be zero. Well, we know what results in a zero value for a derivative. This means, unequivocally, unequivocally that the potential is constant on or in a conductor. So here's the idea. You have some sort of conductor here with put some sort of charge on it, right? And I know that way out here, let me make sure I'm in frame, way out here at infinity, <laughs> not that that's actually a place, but you know what I'm saying, uh, is the potential is zero. And then as I get closer and closer and closer, the potential increases. How do I know that? Well, I know it just from thinking about, I've set my reference point here and I'm getting closer to a charge. Remember the electric field of this also looks like this, points in the direction of decreasing potential. So if I'm going opposite to that, I'm going in the direction of increasing potential. So the potential is increasing, V increases as I go this way until I get to this point, and then I'm at some sort of V naught at that point. What this is saying now is that everywhere on this conductor has to be the same potential. Everywhere inside this conductor has to be at the same potential. And whatever V naught I find on the surface of that conductor, V naught is now the potential everywhere, I don't know why I capitalized everywhere, everywhere on or in the conductor. The conductor is, I'll say conductors are what we call equipotentials. You've seen equipotential lines, equipotential surfaces. Now, what we can say is every conductor is an equipotential because of this. Now, that doesn't mean the potential on the surface or inside is zero. Please don't make that mistake. It is, in, in most cases, it's not zero, it's, uh, but it is a constant. So as soon as I hit this point, everything on this conductor is at an equipotential. I could even make it more complicated. I could have another conductor over here Make sure that's in frame, it is. And then I could connect those two by some sort of wire. As long as there's a connection, these are, will act like one conductor. And so this conductor will then be at the same potential as this conductor. And that conductor will be at the same potential. And I could form a, a huge chain of these conductors going back into space. As long as they're all connected, they will all be at the same potential. They form, in fact, an equipotential.